So, yeah, I'm still in a hurricane right now. It hasn't even made landfall, and uh, shit is getting wild out there. Um, I'm trying my best to take off my mind off of stuff. So let's talk about this uh, announcement. Um, and that is the announcement for um, Jon Stewart being cast. Um, Jon Stewart, as you guys know, is going to be the second character in the Lantern show. We already had an announcement for... Um, uh, Hal Jordan being cast and as Kyle Chandler, who I think is a decent pick. I think um, Kyle Chandler is a solid pick uh, to play that character. Um, I think that I think he was really good, but this was an interesting one because they actually went with someone younger to play this character, and that is Aaron Pierre, who I have no knowledge of uh, who he has played. I really don't have any knowledge as to who that actor has uh, has played, but um, I'm I'm always excited for a new I'm always excited for a new actor to come in and play a char you know play a Green Lan you know play a character of any sort. Um, what I do find kind of just a and then it, maybe it's just a me thing. Maybe it's just a me thing as to you know um, the, uh, to casting is that I would have preferred someone. A little older to play Jon Stewart because yes I know that like in the theme of this film is that uh, Jon Stewart's the rookie and Kyle and and um, John and Hal Jordan is the um, the elder statesman kind of like dealing with the it, with that feel of you know I've deal I've dealt with this shit before it's kind of like, aggravating and shit like that um, so I get it I really do get that like what they're the angle they're trying to go for but the thing for me um, the thing for me personally is that um, I kind of wish they, they chose an older actor to play this character. I really would have preferred an older actor to play this character. Um, mostly because Hal Jordan is... Uh, not Hal Jordan. Uh, Jon Stewart is the elder statesman. And the reason why he got chose to be a lantern was because of his time in the military. You know... He basically was go he was fighting one war and then going on to another war. That was his big thing, and he is he is. I think they have said that like John is older than Hal, but the reason why he had those like gr like Hal had those gray bands were because of like parallax and all them. But the reason why like I I would have preferred you know um, Stewart as an older character is uh, an older actor is because like again he is a soldier who already fought in one war. And he was chosen because he has no fear, and that was kind. Of, that's what I always found interesting about John Stewart, the character, is that he is he is a soldier through and through. And when he became a Green Lantern, he's like, "All right, I'm fighting. You know, here I am fighting another war, and that's what we're gonna do. Um, you know, that's what you know. I'm gonna I'm gonna continue fighting. You know, I get to fight from I go from one war to another." And I like that. I really do like that about his character. Um, now, again, Aaron Pierre, I have no... Um, I'm sure I've seen him in something. I'm sure I've seen him. I already know, like, someone's gonna, like, do a reference already in... Um, in the video. Like, someone's gonna do a reference in the comments, like, oh, he was in this film, and I'll be like, oh, shit, that was him. But as of right now, I don't know who... Um, what it, like what his direct references are but hey i you know i am excited for the lanterns i'm excited for the new dcu um i'm just again it's just a me thing because i would have preferred john stewart to be older because that's kind of the thing is that he was kind of the rookie green lantern but he was like an older man who had already like served in one war and now he's fighting in another army but now on a galactic scale but I, it's a different universe. That's the other thing I have to tell myself is that it's a totally different universe than what we've had before. So, um, you know, that's <laughs> that's really all I can say. That's really it's a different universe, so I just gotta accept it. I am curious about what this true detective angle they keep saying they're gonna go with in this film, uh, in this series. I almost said film like three times. Um, I'm wondering what they're going to do and if they're going to bring in other... Because we know we have Guy. We know Guy is already a Green Lantern in uh, Superman Legacy. We know that. But my question is, are we going to get the other Lanterns at some point as well? Are we going to get, like, um, 
you know, Simon Boz or Jessica Cruz or Kyle or Kyle Rayner. I'm really hoping we Kyle Rayner. I know, like, at, at, like the other question is that's been kind of going around is, are we going to get Alan Scott as well? Like, is that going to be another thing? Is are we going to get Alan Scott um, in this continuity too? I would probably put my money on yes. I would probably say like, yeah, we are probably going to get Alan Scott um, in this canon in some capacity, but probably not until uh, not until later. I know, like, James Gunn has talked about the Justice Society and all that, so I think it is, like, all but said that we are going to get um, uh, Alan Scott in this uh, in this film franchise. The other big thing I am curious about is, like, what could be the story? That's what I've been really wondering about this Lantern series, is, like, what could be the story about it? Is it going to involve the Manhunters? Is Sinestro already turned to being a yellow... Is already created the Sinestro Corps? Um... Is it going to be a different villain like Hector Hammond or, you know, someone or like, uh, you know, Kanjar Ro or something like that? You know, the possibilities are endless. But all in all, I'm just excited uh, to see this show. So you guys tell me in the comments below, what do you guys think of this Jon Stewart casting? Are you guys excited? Or are you guys not? Just comment below. Let me know. Other than that, hope you all enjoyed this. I'm Mr. Multiverse. I'll see you next time in the multiverse.